Is this a proposal? It is. Wait, what? This is Larum here and welcome back to Fujiwara Bittersweet We're here learning about Tosho being forced to play these instruments That's a totally different world I prefer the way things are now, so who cares? Yeah, well said I sit down in front of Tosho and put my head on the low table When I notice some papers near his arm What is it? Lyrics? Administrative things about... About adoption Adoption? You mean yours? Yes I brought up the topic from time to time, but I didn't think it was actually going to be a thing. They didn't tell me. I didn't know either. They plan to talk about it during dinner, eventually. I suddenly panic hearing this information. Why am I panicking exactly? I feel sorrow in my heart and I can't be happy about Tosho officially becoming part of- <gasps> No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Tosho officially becoming part of the family is her stepbrother. A part of me is wondering why, while the other part knows the answer pretty well. I, uh... Are you alright? You look pale. I don't know if any of you guys know this manga called Marmalade Boy, but for those of you who do know what it is, that manga fucked me all up with the whole family tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Did you, um, have you already signed it? No, only reading through it for now. I see. I bent my lips. Say. But a knock on the door interrupts me. Dinner's ready. Come eat, kids. Yay, dinner! I'm so hungry. Dude. We start eating and mom clears her throat. So, um, are you guys aware that we received papers for, well, Toshio's adoption? Yeah, why well, didn't tell us earlier? Crap, my tone's so much more annoyed than I thought and they seem to notice it. Are, are you angry? I try to cool down it. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and I answer, kind of avoiding their gaze. Not really. Sorry, Aya. Yeah, maybe I should have told you earlier, but I thought it would be better to tell everyone at a meal. She turns to Toshio. Have you read it? Yes. What does everyone think about it? I personally would happily welcome him as an official family member. I'll take a part-time job if needed. Same here. Wait, mom, you have a job. <laughs> Yay, a brother my age. So cool. What about you, Aya? Would you welcome him into the family too? Listen here. No. Because I like him. And that'll be so awkward. We look like some cult discussing about the recruiting of a new member. Aya, that's a serious topic. I know! Aya, what's wrong, honey? Nothing! I'm done eating. Sorry. I stand up and walk to my bedroom while I'm trying to ignore the worried gazes. Once in my bedroom, I sit down on the floor, resting my back against my bed. I grab my pillow and bury my head into it, and I sigh. Seriously, what's going on to me? Idiot, idiot, idiot. It's because I love him, dude. I, uh... A voice behind the door interrupts my internal screaming. Toshio. <sighs> at least I'm letting him in. Yes, come on in. He opens the door and looks at me concerned. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Huh. He timidly sits down next to me. Uh, don't say anything. You look like me when I'm sulking. Shut up. It's been a while since you said that kind of thing to me. You're not feeling well after all, I see. Sorry. It's okay. You can release your anger on me. I'm totally okay with it. I prefer not to. Then, um, uh, I'm not good with this stuff. But if you ever want to rant about anything, I I'm not okay with the idea of you becoming my stepbrother. Why? Because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> because, because this special link we have will break eventually, right? It'll fade through the years to find someone even more special than me and have your own family. Yo, what? I'm thinking that far ahead? I'm not even... No. <laughs> we'll fall apart, and thinking about that makes me feel sad and lonely. My voice cracks and tears start to roll down my tears before I know it. Did I read that right? I don't know anymore. We'll fall apart, and thinking about that makes me feel sad and lonely. I'm oh, sorry, I read that again. It's funny. The thing that the first time I cried because of Toshio was because he pissed the heck out of me and I wanted him to disappear from my sight. And now it's because I don't want to be separated from this guy- from this exact same guy. <sighs> how ironic. As I'm focused on trying to stop my tears and thinking how I probably look so lame right now, he closes the distance between us without me noticing it. 
What do you mean? Don't cry. What are you doing? <laughs> when you say close the distance, I'm thinking he kissed me. <laughs> he caresses my cheek, and then the cheek then looks at his finger with amazement, like he's witnessing the existence of some sort of wor world treasure. He, l he licks his finger. Hello? <laughs> I shiver, but I can't help but feel strangely happy. Don't taste my tears, you weirdo. Oh, that's what you did. He wipes my cheek again with the sleeve this time. <laughs> I would drain and dry if it, if it would allow me to see your smile. <sighs> if we adopt you, you can't say this. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, though. Sounds like a song lyric. Ah, you're right. I finished wiping my tears and stretched, thinking, trying to think straight again. Okay, enough crying. Let's go play some video games. I stand up with a renewed vigor and go to Takashi's room, followed by Toshio. We're just not gonna talk about it. We're not- we're just not gonna talk about my relationship- <laughs> my, my- sorry, my feelings. Alright, December 24th. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Takashi hands me a little gift box, smiling brightly at me. Only the Christmas part is required and that's intent to idiot. Yeah, but it's born without the Happy New Year part. Somehow I feel like you'd get along well with a certain someone, right Toshio? You're talking about Ryu. Yep. Who's this Ryu guy again? A friend from school. I open the box, which seems weirdly too light to be... It's empty! You just wanted to pull a prank on me? <laughs> Don't teehee me, you're the worst! I'm joking, I'm joking, here's your real gift. What if the... <laughs> what if inside the little box with just a slip of paper says, I owe you? <laughs> he hands me two tickets for a concert that I wanted to attend, but wasn't able to afford. Oh, yo, really? You would not be able to afford my BTS tickets if that was like my brother. Technically, my brother would probably buy two tickets and then like the other tickets for himself. Oh my god, I so wanted to see it and it's VIP seats. Holy shit, what? Thank, thank you so much. You're the best big bro ever. The one and only. Do you want to go with me, Toshio? You might like this band. No, I'll pass. Ah, because of the crowds, right? Well, I'll ask Ichigo then. She's a fan too, so she'll surely be happy about it. Still, it's too bad you're sick on Christmas Day. Don't worry, it's just a tiny cold. You guys go ahead and enjoy your time at the restaurant. You sure? Yeah, and I won't be alone. Toshi was here to watch over me. Okay, have fun, but don't overdo it. If you ever think you have a fever or something. Yes, yes, now go or you'll be late to your reservation. Take care. Drink water. And don't do naughty things while we're away. Hey! No, what naughty things? Shh, it's nothing, honey. See ya, yeah. So, about the adoption papers, are they still doing it? Yeah. I don't think we're doing anything weird. Yeah, look. What naughty things? Toshio don't even know. Who knows? Also, I, um, I have a present for you too, but you're sick, so I can't really give it to you. Why can't you give it to me? It involves going outside and walking a bit. Is it fireworks? Outside, do you want to offer me something to eat at a food stall or something? Yes, kind of, I guess. I might have a little cold, but I can handle it if it's a quiet place, and we don't need to move around a lot. Both of those requirements are met. Let's go then. He helps me put on my warmer coat, a hat on my head, and rolls two big, t two big scarves around my neck. Uh, don't you think this is a bit too much? It's not. We're going to be outside for a bit. I promised your parents that I'll take care of you, and I don't want your cold to get worse. See, at this mo times like this, he's so mature. Okay, okay. You don't have gloves? Uh, no. Then let's hold hands. What? And <laughs> put the other one in your pocket. I don't want your hands to get cold. I could just put both of my hands in my pocket, but okay. Oh, true! I didn't even think about that. Don't think about that, dude. You're so assertive today. Something wrong. No, sorry. Really, I would like you to be the one ordering me around, but I really don't want you to get sicker. I see, thanks. Okay, it's good to know that he can order us around at times. We step outside and start to walk. After a few minutes of comfortable silence, I speak up. I'm surprised you're taking me outside to offer me food. Why? I don't know. You haven't said much to me these past few days, and you were always outside and not as clingy as usual. It's almost like you're avoiding me. I was just busy with... A lot of things. Mm. Oh, it's so pretty. I get lost in my thoughts when I suddenly notice that we're actually walking away from the downtown area. Uh, Toshio? Are you sure there are only food stalls over there? 
or, or any, sorry. It's mostly greeny spaces and streams this way. There is one just for you. Just for me? What is this? He beckons me to look to my left and I discover a really nice and well-decorated kiosk. <gasps> I love gazebos! <laughs> Beautifully illuminated, a pretty table was placed at the center, and five, attendan five attendants were waiting for us. What is this? Your dinner? My dinner? <laughs> I walked toward it and noticed that some heaters were placed here and there for us to stay warm. It looks so romantic. Yo! Spoiled! Do you like it? I love it! <laughs> Thank you! I take places at our seats and I start to eat the dishes the attendants were serving me. The food looks expensive, but it's absolutely tasty. Somehow I feel a bit shy eating this amazing meal. Don't, it's your present after all. Toshio, fucking spoiling. Yes, thank you. You're eating, by the way? No, it's all for you and only you. But I feel weird just eating it by myself then. I, I see. Say, the thing I was busy taking care of, it was actually planning today's gift, but I was also preparing my move. Wait, where are you going? You're moving. Yes, a few months ago, I sent my application to the most famous pastry school in the country. Wait, you're leaving me! Either way! <laughs> Remember last week when I vanished for the whole day? It was because I was taking the examination in the next city. And I was wondering where you had disappeared to all this time. Why didn't you say anything about it? I didn't want to tell you until I was sure I'd pass. So you did pass. Yes. Oh, now I'm sad. The dessert arrives right after I was done with the main course. It's a mini flower-shaped chocolate cake. It's so beautiful that I feel bad to destroy it with my fork. I baked it myself. I hope it tastes good enough for you. You did? I kind of figured that he would make us a dessert. Yes, but be careful while eating it. Careful why? Is it gonna melt? I ask Karis when I stick my fork into the piece of art. Currently or or ornamenting my plate. I feel something hard. I take a bit into it and pull out. With a surprise, an adorable tiny box. Wait, what? What is this? Don't you- Wait, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. It's not a proposal because that'll be weird. Because, you know, we're not even dating yet. Toja stands up and gently takes the box from my hand. But he's kneeling down! <laughs> then kneels before me and opens it. Inside is the most elegant and refined ring I've ever seen with my own two eyes in my whole life. <gasps> You're so cute. For what? For what? I want to slap you. <laughs> Cause you're so. No, I, w I don't want to slap him. I want to hug him, but he does he's not into that, so he would prefer the slap probably. Ah yeah. I don't really know how to do this kind of stuff. I hope I won't mess it up, but. I know I don't deserve you. I know it perfectly well, but you're my goddess, literally. G goddess? Yes. At the beginning, I truly hated you with all my heart, but it didn't last long. I guess you, inst you instantly piqued my interest the moment you first slapped me. <laughs> I didn't understand it, and I still don't, but somehow you gradually invaded my thoughts. The more the days, weeks, and months passed, the less I was able to hate you. I felt lonely when you weren't around. Sad when you weren't smiling and happy when you paid attention to me in whatever ways. Strange feelings started to grow inside me, feeling feelings that I didn't know I could have inside me. At first, I was confused. I thought it was the same kind of feelings I have for Iki, but I was wrong. It was more, way more powerful than, than anything I had ever known until then. And soon I understood I was simply worshipping you. Yo, Toshi was simp for us. <laughs> worshipping? I told you, you've become my goddess. You suddenly appeared so bright to me. <laughs> I could build a shrine for you whenever you would ask for it. Any reward, any punishment felt like a blessing from you. <laughs> I didn't want to admit it, but I unconsciously lied to myself, pretending to want to become someone better for Iki. It was an act to spend more time with you, and when I realized it, you already had my life in your hands. Whatever you would order, whatever you would order me, I would do it. I could kill anyone for you. The, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. <laughs> I could give you the moon and all the stars in the sky for you. Could you? <laughs> I could lose my humanity for you. Just say the word. That's a bit extreme. He pushes his forehead against my legs and starts to sob. I don't care. You're everything to me. But right now, I don't deserve you. Why? He raises his head and puts the ring on my pinky finger. At this exact moment, a gorgeous- 
A gorgeous fireworks suddenly burst in the night sky, but not loud enough to prevent me from hearing what Toshio says next. So please let me graduate this pa 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 shit. pastry school. Becoming a better person and upgrading my status is the best pet <laughs> you'll ever own. To be able to stand proudly by your side. I say silence until the fireworks finish, then timidly ask. Is this a proposal? It is. Wait, what? Whoa. Whoa. I don't know if this game is ending soon. Because we have to wrap it up. But I guess I'll just finish off this day, I guess. What is happening right now? How should I answer? I don't know. <laughs> think, think about something. That's the weirdest proposal I've ever heard. I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, I messed up. I'm so sorry, Toshi. Let me try again. That's okay, you don't have to answer me right now. The school training and the apprenticeship will last six years. What? After all, you'll have all the time to think about it. Six years? Yeah, so I don't want your answer right now. But instead, keep this ring on your pinky finger. If you still have it after six years, then I'll have my reply. That's a pretty long time, but... Okay, let's do that. Oh. Wait, I can't see him for six years? He leans on my legs again and rubs his cheek against my knees. Bitch, can you just kiss me? Can I just kiss- Sorry, you don't do that. Can I just- <laughs> Can I just kiss you? Thank you. I'm getting frustrated here. <laughs> well, I'm really impressed by all you did for what should have been a simple Christmas present. Where did you find all the money to pay people to help you on this? It's mine. Technically, I'm still the heir of the mayor's family until April. So I did it behind the old man's back before he was able to interrupt anything. Sneaky boy. So I was right. I spent my savings for selfish reasons, not for his crappy purpose. purpose. Well said. Seriously, what a night. I still shocked to stroke his hair for several minutes before I returned home. Alright. Um, if there's... If it's gonna end in like two minutes, I'll fuse it together. You'll you'll probably see. You know how editing goes. Still recuperating from the proposal. Some time passes. We spent the rest of the holidays quietly before school started again. Ugh, it's freezing both outside and inside. I hate it. I like winter, though. Obviously, you just like it because you can wear as much warm clothes as you want. I'm starting to seriously question why you never show your skin. I'm a vampire. What, really? No, you idiot. Vampires don't exist, and if that was the case, I can't expose my face and hands to the sun either. Oh, right. But it wouldn't surprise me if you were one. You're so beautiful and kind of mysterious, Haru. Mm. Oh, Hachan, you're blushing. That's adorable. Shut your mouth. But yeah, it's so cold today. Maybe it will snow. If it snows, let's have a snowball fight. Good idea. I wonder if Toshi will do it too. Speaking of him, he left home earlier than usual and we weren't able to go to school together. I wonder why. The bell rings and Iki enters the classroom followed by the teacher. He pauses and looks at me somewhat surprised and sits at his desk. Why did he look at me like that? Something wrong? Class starts, but soon after my phone vibrates, displaying Iki's name on it is on a screen. It's a text. That's a rare of him to text me, even more so during class. What are you doing here? Toshu's train is leaving soon. Train? What train? Seriously? Wait, the bitch left without me. He didn't tell you anything. What are you talking about? He's moving today. Ryu is waiting for you outside. What? Go now or you'll be too late. Wait, what? I loudly stand up and shout, sorry, all my classmates and the teacher. Miss Kobayashi, please. Sorry, I have to go. Miss Kobayashi. Miss Kobayashi, come here this instant. Nah, fam, bye. I <laughs> rushed down the corridor and dialed Toshio's number. Only discovery doesn't exist anymore. What the hell are you telling me, stupid voicemail? Did Toshio change his phone number? You took your time. Hurry. You. Why didn't you tell me anything about Toshio leaving? Oopsie, I forgot. Anyway, Mademoiselle's carriage is waiting for her. He says, beckoning me to climb the scooter next to him while handing me a, a helmet. Is it yours? Yep, I'll take you to the train station. I put the helmet on my head and jump on without hesitation. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Yo, he's just gonna up and leave? Did he tell my parents at least? <laughs> Rio drives more cautiously than I thought and we soon reach our destination without any scratches. Fortunately, the station is an old local one so and so is the train. So I'm able to go on to the station without paying anything. Toshio, Toshio, are you there? I hope you can hear me. I start to walk toward the train cars to try to see if I can spot him when I hear a window opening behind me. Aya? Toshio! Aya, what are you doing here? What are you- what, what are you talking about? 
He naturally extends his hand, which I instinctively grab, and notice that he's wearing the same ring as mine on his pinky finger. I bite my lips, suddenly feeling emotional. What are you doing here, you dumbass idiot? Why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you change your phone number? I I thought it would be easier to like that for me. What, bitch? If I didn't do that, I probably wouldn't be able to leave. The train starts to move, gaining speed gradually. No, 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 I still have a lot of things to tell you. Don't go. I'll come back, I promise. Bitch! Are you done with school? You just... Did you finish? Did you graduate? <laughs> I'm now dashing next to the train, slowly dropping his hand. In a few seconds, he'll just disappear from my sight. You selfish moron. You better come back home when you're done, so that... Yo, how old would I be? I take a deep breath and yell my lungs out. So then I can acknowledge you as a best pet ever. Ah, uh, not even my boyfriend. Then, just before the train vanishes, Toshio, spot Toshio flashes a smile as bright as the sun. One that I've never even seen before. Oh, dude. Dude, is this the end? <coughs> no. No, I can't do this. Tears are falling from its eyes, but I can clearly see that it's out of joy. You chose this moment to show me that kind of face, you idiot. My tears start to roll down my cheeks and I crouch, now bawling like a baby. I went as long as needed, be safe. Oh, I love you. I can't even tell him that. Yo! End of the sweet route. I cannot! I'm not fusing this together. You guys had. <laughs> you guys go. No, I'll just, I'll just fuse it together. What the fuck? I did he didn't get to hear me say that to him. Six years is a long time. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. Uh He just leaves. He just leaves like that. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I can't really even rank Toshi. <laughs> I... I don't think I can rank Toshio against Iki because... It's another one of those games where I can't rank them because they both gave me different, like, outcomes. And the storylines were branched off differently. Uh, I feel like, personally though, Toshio's backstory was more heart-touching to me. So I guess technically Toshio's number one right now. And then Iki. But I prefer Iki's ending. Because, you know, at least... He heard me. Did we even confess to Iki? I'm pretty sure we confessed to Iki at least about our feelings. But then with like freaking Toshio, I couldn't even tell him I love him. That makes me sad. <laughs> that makes me so sad. Anywho, that concludes our route with Toshio. I was I'm really surprised I didn't hate him so much. He's annoying in every, uh, everyone else's route, but during his route, he's actually really sweet. And sometimes you, you, you're just, you just get a man baby. <laughs> he can be a baby at times, but then he can also be very mature. Ugh. I have nothing else to say. I could just blankly just stare out nothing at this point. It's, uh, yeah, you know, I'll just wrap up the episode here because... I have no other words. I feel like I will form a conclusion with everyone's route once I finish everyone's route, obviously. So, Toshio right now will rank as number one. Because he's leaving me feeling empty. And it's a bittersweet feeling when I get from a game. And that means it's a good game whenever I feel this empty. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.